Hello and uh, welcome. This time around we're doing the uh, search bar uh, up here, which should open something like uh, this. I don't have any data yet, so it won't really do anything, but I just want to show you how we open different views. So I think when I have these two views in place, I will uh, proceed to implement some data and then some actual functionality perhaps. But the main point of this video series is to to show how to do one view and change out subviews. So let's see how this goes. We need a new um, a new view. We will call it uh, search book search. Mm. On the real good reads, you can search for all kinds of things, both authors and books. So maybe this is just maybe this is just a search. Like that I need uh, my fxml file uh, search view, and uh, oh, was that not added? No. Git add. And we have a search view controller, as usual. I want to create that. Yeah. It has to implement my view controller like this, and we have to implement the methods. Okay. So 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 what do we have to do now? Well, I have to define the view. What does the view look like? I also have to define my search bar here. So let's start with that one. That's in the main view. I need to modify this one here. We need to... This is my... My Xbox with the top uh, content. We need a text field. That we can see. Text, text input field. Text field. Text area, text field, this one, this one, we'll take this one. Uh, no, was that a glue on thing? I think the blue ones are, are glue on for mobile. I want the gray then, apparently. What do you know? Text field. This one, we can make it a little larger. Some point I should have some spacing between, but, um, well, you can add CSS styling to your, to your program. Uh, it's the normal CSS that you're used to, you just have to Google how to actually set it up. But I think it's something like having a CSS file in here and then just referencing from here. Then it should be pretty easy to make it beautiful. I have no idea how to do 